Hey there, techies. Welcome to another review. Well, finishing a previous review, I guess we'll call it. Yes, Avira 2016. We did not finish the removal portion of the test, so that's what we're going to do today. So you guys know the drill. This is our infected environment here in which we test all of the applications, removal ability, and see, can they remove or clean up this infected virtual machine? And I forgot to set the date. Now we can go download Avira Free Antivirus 2016 and see how well it is capable of removing malware from this system. So let's go over to avira.com and download it right from their website. Now, as you saw in the previous test, guys, Avira did a fantastic job, I must say, at uh, removing the malware, or not removing, at preventing the malware uh, from infecting the system in the first place. So that was really nice to see, and let's hope that we can kind of see those results translate into this test here. So let's go to antivirus, we want to go Windows, And we want to download now. All right. In three, two, one. Yay. It, I don't see a download prompt. Oh, I see the little flash. Th yeah, flash thing up there. But uh, there it is. So let's go ahead and save this, save this to the desktop like we usually do. Maybe. Maybe. You know, sometimes you gotta do it twice. I don't understand why. I think it's something to do with the malware on this system. Maybe. Oh, we're gonna do this. Okay, let's try this again. There we go. See? That's all we needed. That's all we had to do. Okay, so we got that downloaded now. Let's go ahead and run as administrator, get right down to it, start the installation, or try to at least. Because as you know, sometimes installations do not go so well when it comes to installing them on an infected system. So it states it's preparing to install, probably having to remove 500 pieces of malware along with the installation, but that's what we're here to test. Can it do it? Now a lot of this stuff on here, it is, you know, you saw in the past if you've watched my other videos, uh, there's a whole collage of malware, we'll call it that. Uh, there's worms, viruses, trojans, and a lot of adware. And as you know, I always state that adware is a huge problem nowadays. So I think this is a very real world scenario type of test environment. Okay, here we go. So it's installing, we know the drill, we're gonna skip that. We're going to skip that. We don't need that. And online dashboard, we really don't need because we're just looking to clean up the system today. All right, so that's going. Now we're just going to go ahead and wait. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm going to cut the video so you don't have to see this. So I'll be back once it's done installing, and then we'll go ahead and start the scan or at least whatever is on the screen if it's worth showing. Otherwise, I'll be back and we'll start the scan together and see how that begins. All right, everyone, so it's still installing here, but uh, nevertheless has prompted a security prompt here. So what we're gonna do is, I suppose, go ahead and apply everything. Um, now, can I select, I think if you do this, you can select everything. Yes, and I just wanna go ahead and, well, no, I'm gonna keep a default action, actually, because if some of these are legitimate system files that have been infected, I do want to, in fact, uh, repair them. So we're going to go ahead and click Apply. And we're going to see if it can actually repair. All. And that's my phone. All right, so it's been a few days here since I've been doing this last. Uh, but I just suspended the virtual machine, and I started a full scan now. Uh, there were some storms that rolled through. And I lost power. So yeah, and then I just kind of was busy yesterday and didn't have time to continue. So we're continuing on now. And as you can see, we started a full system scan here. 
and it's already hard at work, it's detected 152 items. And in addition to that, you can also see the real-time scanner has been hard at work and looks like it's removed quite a bit of malware already on this system, uh, including adware too, which is really nice to see. Um, so, so far, it looks as if Avira is keeping pace with the prevention test. So let's hope that it can continue to do that and actually remove all of the threats on the system because as you know, sometimes not all antiviruses or anti-malware solutions are able to remove the threats. They can detect them, but they sometimes cannot remove them. So we'll let this finish scanning. It's a full system scan, so it might take a while. Um, and when it's done, we'll be back. We'll take a look at the results, see how it did. So see you when it's done. All right, so the scan has completed and it looks like one or multiple detections found. Well, thank you for that very good description there. But luckily it tells me over here there were 364 detections actually found in the system. So here they are. Um, as you can see, they're all listed right here. And a lot of these look like they're just outright malware. So now what I would do is if someone was trying to recover the system to the point where they could actually uh, get their stuff off of it, um, I would probably go ahead and just repair this stuff or at least try to because that has a less of a risk of making the system unbootable, if that makes sense. Because um, removing it, if, the, if there's a legitimate file that is, let's say, infected and we go ahead and remove that file entirely, the system may not boot or other programs may malfunction or you may lose legitimate files uh, that the customer or client wanted. So that's what I would do in this situation. Um, I'm just thinking for the sake of this test if I'm going to go ahead and remove them or repair them. Um, hmm. Yeah, see like something like this right here. I think I'm going to just do the default action. Um, seeing that's what they want me to do, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and just apply all the actions, let it do what it wants to do, uh, whether it wants to repair it, whether it wants to remove it, quarantine it, whatever. So that's going to be doing its thing. Uh, once I got my VPN enabled right now, so I can re-enable my internet connection. Once that is all done, uh, I'll go ahead and if it wants me to reboot, I'll reboot. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and start a scan with Hitman Pro. And then we're going to go ahead and see how much malware is left in this system, if there is, uh, in fact, any malware left on this system. Um, which I can tell you right now, according to this, there's some adware on here. I uh, don't necessarily know if it's bad in a sense of being viruses or any worms, Trojans, things like that, but there's definitely some adware on this system. So I'll let this do its thing and I'll be back with the Hitman Pro results. Well, this doesn't look promising. Um, so it looks as if Avira has crashed. So let's see, now, but yet it's still scanning here. So that's interesting. Um, we do have four suspicious objects here. We'll remove those and it's gonna do this. Um, I might go ahead and stop this scan because we already did a full system scan. So whatever is gonna be detected is gonna be detected. And this one started a little earlier too and it really didn't find anything anyway. So yeah, I think I'm gonna stop this one because we already did a full system scan. There's no sense in, in doing another one. Um, so we'll let this do its thing here and I'm gonna go ahead and download Hitman Pro now. So it does look as if um, Avira is operational. Let's just open it up and make sure that everything, yeah, it says our computer is secure. So I don't really see, and you can actually see a lot of the stuff going away on the desktop, which is nice to see. There we go. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get Hitman Pro and we're going to go ahead and see how much is actually on this system. Welcome back techies. I did another scan with a Vera for antivirus, a full system scan, mind you. I put in the extra time to do that uh, just to see what it would find if anything, because as I know I said earlier, whatever would be detected would be detected, but that's not always the case. So try to give it a fair shot. It did fairly well. So I figured why not just see how well we can actually get this system cleaned up with a Vera. 
Uh, it found 98 additional objects and it removed 98 additional objects. So, and I do have the file, the log file here. Uh, so you can definitely see it is hard at work and it did quarantine all of those objects there. Um, yep, moved to quarantine. So that is good to go there. So we'll close that out and that's all taken care of. Also found one hidden object too. So we'll end that uh, and then get ready guys. Here's the Hitman Pro scan. So there are some Trojans on this system. As you can see right here, we do have a Trojan. However, it is in the temporary internet files. So uh, removing the temporary internet files would then in fact, or should in fact clear out this Trojan uh, right there. The only real concern uh, would be uh, this right here in a sense, but um, it realistically is just an INK file. So it's not that big of a deal. Uh, the parent file or the exe is most likely gone um, and it's probably dead anyways this one indicates it's on the desktop and i believe it is dead i'm not seeing it right now it's right in front of me which is really bugging me the fact that i don't see it but i know everyone's probably staring at it right now saying how can you not see it regardless um, not that big of a deal and um, so you could go ahead and just delete that and that would take care of that threat and that's it uh, honestly, you can see, guys, there's not a lot left in the system. You know, there's a lot of adware on the system, but that's not too horrible. There could be a, a lot worse on the system, and there's not. It's just a lot of adware. So, uh, using ADW Cleaner or some adware cleanup tools, or even going into ad remove programs, uh, would definitely be able to clean some of that up if we really wanted to. Some files up here that uh, don't exist anymore. And Hitman Pro states they may create startup errors. Just because you're trying to run certain files, they're auto run entries. And, and these would be bad if the files were there. However, they're not, so they're useless. They're not gonna do anything to the system. They're not gonna harm it. They just might prompt an error message uh, during startup saying that it cannot find that specific path or directory. So with that said, overall, what do I think of Avira Free Antivirus 2016? And I'm just going to go through here and you can see you just set your themes back right here and you can kind of remove these all right down here and clean up the system. So as I said, what do I think of it? I really think that it did a fantastic job. I think that it's a wonderful, easy to use, free application, mind you. This is, this is free. It doesn't cost you anything. Now they do have paid versions, uh, but why you get the paid version when the free version does the same thing realistically? So with that said, it did a wonderful job cleaning up. And as you saw in the prevention tests, it also did a wonderful job in that avenue too. So all around, it's a very well-rounded program here. And I, I would have to say, I would highly recommend it just based on these results right here. And you can see how it put a huge dent in the system here, in, in the um, amount of adware and malware that I got rid of. And, and like I said before, guys, what I would recommend doing at this point with this system that was so highly infected, go into your internet browser and just reset the whole thing. Uh, so you go right down here, Internet Explorer, once you go to Internet Options, uh, and you can go ahead and hit Reset right down there. Also delete the personal settings. I would recommend it just because you don't know what malware has tampered with. And then obviously you're gonna wanna reboot the system after this, um, but for the sake of this test, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna close it out. Um, kind of let it iron itself out for a couple seconds, complete all of its uh, tasks that you need to do, open it back up, and you'll see it'll be just as if um, it's fresh out of the box, or it should be, but it's not. Oh, here we go. So close enough. But like I said, you do have to reboot the computer. Um, and there we go. Now, I did see a little redirect up there. That kind of worried me a little bit. So there might be um, some malware still left. Oh, you saw there was malware left in the system. Um, but there might be a rootkit on here still. Not too certain. But that was very interesting. Let me try to browse to uh, like a website. Let's go to avast.com and see if we can get there. Okay, so I can get to avast. Um, let's see if we can get to. Now this one will probably Komodo will probably work just because it's not nearly as well known as um, some of the other vendors out there, such as if we go to free.avg.com now this one usually always would get blocked or redirected um, from malware 
there was an infection on the system. So, okay, uh, looks looks to be pretty good. I'd say this system is a lot better than it was before, and Avira did all of the work. So with that said, wonderful little program, highly recommended. With that said, I'm going to go ahead, end the video. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Um, comment, subscribe, and I'm probably missing something, but that's it. So hope you enjoyed it once again. Wonderful job. Highly recommend Avira. Very simple, easy to use solution if you just want to set and forget something. Should serve you pretty well. Great detection rate. That's it. See you in the next review, guys.